everybody. Greg here with another online teaching tip as part of the Supporting Every Teacher campaign, which aims to help you teachers who are now teaching from home. Your television can provide you and your students with an unlimited amount of real life English in context and consequently lots of potential activities to teach English. Today I'm going to show you three different activities for three different levels. Let's begin with one for lower level learners. This involves muting the television and asking your student to provide a commentary using the present continuous. And she's reading and um, enjoying the time. A harder adaptation of this activity for intermediate learners involves your student watching a short clip and then telling you what they saw using past tenses. So, uh, Juanma, can you tell me, what did you see? Uh, yeah, and then, uh, while they were talking, the bus went past. And finally, my personal favourite activity is an activity for advanced learners using reported speech. First, I asked my student to watch a short clip in which there is at least one person speaking. You know, I, I've learned a valuable lesson in life. Um, you can't please everybody. And the only person I need to please is sat next to me. So Then, I simply asked them to tell me what was said using reported speech. Well, uh, he said that he had learned a lesson and the only person he needed to please uh, was sat next to him. Other activities using your television include encourage them to use opinion language by giving their opinion on whatever the topic of the program may be. Alternatively, you may simply choose to watch the TV together and then talk about any of the multiple language points that will come up. So, let's recap. Of course, while I've used Skype today as my example, please remember that this activity is transferable to most online platforms. All you need is a webcam and a TV. So, before you go, just a reminder to click on the link below for more resources. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and to ask your students to as well. And I'll see you next time with another online teaching tip. See you later.